Hello dears, good morning. It's me, Ms. Lindsay, your English teacher. Nice to meet you again. Okay now, welcome to the world of English. So, before we begin, let's ask the blessings from God, the Almighty, so that let His Holy Spirit enlighten us, help us and guide us through. So children, let me begin with a question. Yes. Have you seen a shirt? You may have seen it, right? So tell me, what do you mean by a shirt? A shirt could be a shelter for an animal or it could be a place to store tools or to keep things that we don't use very often, right? Yes. So, today we are going to study a new poem from our course book. The Shirt, written by Frank Flying, who was born on 6th December 1906 in Sydney, Australia. And he died on 29th July 2000. Some of his famous books are the Living Heart, Northern Gateway and so on. The poem is about the shed which is a small room away from the main house. And the poet wishes to visit it one day. Now we will move on to the poem. I will read the first stanza for you. There is a shed at the bottom of our garden with a spider's verb hanging across the door. The hinges are rusty and creak in the wind. When I am in bed, I lie and I listen. I will open that door one day. Here it says that the shed is located at the bottom of the poet's garden. And there is a whip hanging across the door. Why is a whip hanging across the door? It is so because people rarely go to the shed. So the spider made a whip across the door. And the joints have become rusty and make a lot of noise. Whenever the wind makes them move, the poet hears this sound while lying in the bed. And the poet wanted to visit and open the door one day and see what is there inside it. Now we will move on to the second stanza. We will read it together. There is a dusty old window around at the side with three cracked panes of glass I often think there is someone staring at me each time that I pass I will peep through that window one day here the poet says that the shed has a dusty old window on its side and three glass sheets of the window are broken. Cracked means broken and pain means sheets. Whenever the poet passes through the shed, he feels that someone was looking at him. Further, he thinks that one day, he will look through the window to know what is there inside it. We will move on to the third stanza. My brother says, there is a ghost in the shirt who hides under the rotten floorboards. And if I ever dare to set foot inside, 
he will jump out and chop off my head but i will take a peek one day here it says that the poet's brother always tells him that there is a ghost inside the shed and it hides under the decayed or damaged floorboards his brother also tells him that if he went inside the shed the ghost would chop off his head chop off means cut off but still the poet thinks that one day he would get inside the shed children we will read the last stanza together i know that there isn't really a ghost my brother tells lies to keep the shed for his den there isn't anyone staring or making strange noises and the spider has been gone from his web since i don't know when i'll go into that shed one day soon but not just yet here it says that the poet is sure that there is no ghost inside the shed but his brother tells about the ghost as he does not want the poet to go inside the shed the poet knows that there is nobody inside the shed who stares at him or makes those strange noises and the spider too has gone away from the web so the poet hopes that one day he would be able to get inside the shed however he cannot fix the time date or day at present that means he is not sure about when it would be possible children hope you could follow me so now it's time to wind up the session today i request all of you to like and subscribe my channel thank you